Welcome back to ProLine. Each week I tell you we're going to pick winners, and we have been picking winners. I want to tell you a little bit what the guys have been doing. Scott, 2-0 and in your Game of the Year plays last week. 86% on your KO plays in college and pro football. Yeah, we've been really doing well with those plays. Also, our tap-outs. We won our tap-out game of the year in the NFL with the Oakland Raiders, who go into Houston and change the entire season for the Houston Texans, uh, not just because they beat Houston outright, but because of the injuries with the Houston Texans. But, uh, yeah, it's been an outstanding run. And this week, Jim, we've got our second top five countdown of the season. We won our first uh, just a few weeks ago. We're going to do it again, and this might be it. We only do two to three per season, as you know from the past 15 years. Five big plays. Counted down from number five to number one at Smash Mouth Sports, and it's going to include another game of the year. Last week we had Alabama in college, as I said, the Raiders and the pros, and we just look to keep going. 86% winners. You, you can't beat that with a stick. <laughs> no, you can't beat that with a stick. Damn, damn good. Dave, you've been doing great, too, and you have what's called a late info plays, and this includes your offshore plays. And just the last few games, I think it's three games? Just last weekend, yeah. Last weekend alone, those games won 164 my math may be wrong here. 164 to 52? Uh, right about there. And, and yeah. some of those points were garbage points by Air Force against Notre Dame. <laughs> so they had Notre Dame out, out there. Um, just to explain these briefly, um, obviously there are plays that I sell online and, and regular service selections. Fortunately, and this is you know one of the bad things about getting old is getting old. Uh, one, <laughs> one, one, of the good, one of the good things about getting old is that I've got probably about as many contacts as you can have. Uh, so I get really good information from reliable sources. A lot of it comes in late, though. I'm talking a couple hours before the game, so it can't be sold online. And, it, and to be honest with you, it's not part of the regular service, but it is available for people who are on my service. If you want to find out about this, I suggest you give the office a call, 1-866-841-1665. It's for serious players, okay? This is not inexpensive stuff, but if you're out there to, to, to win and win big, I don't think there's anything better out there. It's as simple as that. Well, no, no question about getting old. We both know a little bit about that. We both know about having contacts. And I can tell you that uh, the contacts I have are good and the contacts Dave has is good. When I see his late information plays, I kind of venture into them myself <laughs> a little bit. And, you know, the economy's rough out there, so I bet a little bit more because I know I'm going to win. Al, you're doing – this is an amazing thing. I mean, last year you started off – these Vegas strip move <laughs> things that you call them, and I love the name. And you were like 14 and something, and 14 this, and, and this year, nine and one. You're 40 and nine on these things. I yeah. mean, the, absolutely incredible. <laughs> I know the, the beat just keeps going on. You know, we started last year 14 and 0, then it went to 20 and one. By the end of the season, it was a pedestrian 31 and eight. <laughs> <laughs> and then this season, you know, we had such. A clamoring for these plays from all the clients. They wanted them again, and we're doing it again. We're now nine and one. And then we topped it off last Sunday. We had our NFL Vegas Strip Move Game of the Year on the Carolina Panthers. So it's just been a magical two year run 40 wins, nine losses. And this week, it's going to get even better as we've identified a college football game that's going to qualify as our college football Vegas Strip Move Game of the Year. So details on that to follow. And, you know, speaking about getting down on plays, I got your big money game of the year last week, about five minutes before game time. I called the office at 11.55 a.m., and I was able to get the information. I got down just in time, so I need to thank you for uh, that. That was, that was a good one. Uh, West Virginia was a big play for me and, and all my clients as well. And uh, we went on, and then come back on Sunday, uh, I had a five-game package in the pros, went 4-1 and one on that. And then on Monday night, we had the Lions. So it was a real good weekend. It's been a great year. And like I said, I like to step out on these games and, and make money and make money for you we're all doing a great job this year doing that so make sure you stay tuned follow our plays and make the calls we're going to come right back we're going to talk about florida state and duke hi i'm big al mcmord and my vegas strip moves swept the board again last week cashing saturday with ohio state and sunday with our vegas strip move nfl game of the year in carolina our vegas strip moves are now nine and one this season and 40 and nine the past two years combined now for saturday i'm releasing my college football vegas strip move game of the year and it's guaranteed to win or the rest of the college football season is yours absolutely free it's just 19 dollars call 866-896-1628. We're at documented 40 and 9 the past two years on these plays. We had a record number of calls last weekend for the game of the year, so if the phone lines are busy, just be patient and keep trying. Call 866-896-1628.
1628. That's 866 896 1628. Our Vegas Strip Move College Football Game of the Year. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk about Florida State and Duke. Now, I'm a little surprised about this, Al. Game opens 9 at a couple big shops. I wasn't smart enough to play it at 9, but now we're looking at 13 and a half. Florida State uh, has kind of been underrated in this line. I mean, there's a lot of people out there putting a lot of money on them. Yeah, Jim, you're right. You know, the money flowed in on Florida State late Sunday night and on Monday. The line opened up at 9 at Chris. It was 11 and a half at Pinnacle, and it's moved up to 13 and a half, even as high as 14 as we record this show. And I actually agree with the money in this game, Jim. You know, Florida State, I mean, does anyone remember a few weeks ago, they were ranked fifth in the country, and oh, how the mighty have fallen. They lost to Oklahoma, then they lost to Clemson. Now, it's no great shame losing to those two ball clubs because they're both undefeated on the season. But then last week, they were favored by double digits against Wake Forest. They lost that game 35-30. to So I'm actually going to step in here and look for the Seminoles to rebound. And I consulted my database, and one of the things I like to do is play on favorites of more than 11 points. If they're off an upset loss, and they're off back-to-back -back straight up and against the spread losses if they're matched up against a 350 or better opponent. That's the situation here. And I'm going to lay the points with Florida State. That system, 36 and 11, going all the way back 20 years. Dave, do you have any thoughts on this ballgame? Oh, that's, that's, that's a pretty good stat. I think the number crunchers got involved in this game right off the bat on Florida State because the, the number is a lot lower than it would have been, say, three weeks ago. It probably would have been about, I think it would have been more than two touchdowns, to be honest with you. But things have changed since then. Duke's on a nice little winning streak. Uh, and Florida State has come up with, uh, well, oh, look, Oklahoma just overwhelmed them. I think they had a hangover against Clemson. But what did happen last week against Wake Forest? Not that Wake Forest is a bad football team. Jim Grove's a heck of a coach. Wake Forest actually should have a better record than they have. The Syracuse game was a fluky loss when their quarterback got hurt. So that, that's not that bad a loss. But I, I, I still think you're, you're in a situation here where, for, for me, it's, it's not going to be a play. And, and I'll tell you why briefly. I think Florida State will bounce back here. I think they kind of were guilty of maybe smelling themselves, uh, as Al Golden likes to, or not Al Golden, but uh, uh, the Temple coach, uh, Adazio, uh, made that comment about his team last week. Uh, going into last week's game, he says, we're guilty of smelling ourselves. And they went out and beat the crap out of the team they played last week. So that worked. I think Florida State's got one of those games in them. The one thing I don't like here. Duke had, Duke had last week off. I don't, I, 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 you know, rested team with momentum. I'm not sure I want to go into that, but I, if I had to play this game, Jim, I, I'd have to play Florida State. You'd have to play Florida State, yeah. even, even so, even yeah, though I, the, the but, other team does have the momentum and but, they're rested. But you know the good news is? And are they smelling I, themselves? I, no, they, they, well, they, they, I haven't they heard, may very well be. I haven't heard that as a handicapping theory ever before, and I've been around this work, game a long time. last week with Temple. <laughs> 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 and one thing I can say about this game, besides what everybody else has said, both these teams play, uh, they, they score a lot of points. I like this game to go over. The, if you look at the stats going back a number of years, both these teams in this situation do tend to go over, so I would probably go over with it. I don't really have a, an axe to ground on the side, but we're going to come back and we're going to talk about a really big game, Michigan against Michigan State. No sweat Saturday. That's the right way to describe this week's college slate, and I'm stepping out with not one, but two huge under-the-hat selections. Here's how confident I am about these two. Not only will I guarantee a perfect 2-0, and oh, both games got to cover by at least 10 points each. Well, the rest of October is free. That's why I'm calling this No Sweat Saturday. There's only one way to score these two runaways for just 25 bucks, and that's by calling 1-866-841-1665. The sooner you call, the sooner you'll be on your way to another huge day. So make that call now to 1-866-841-1665, and then get set to collect again. Hi, I'm Big Al McMord, and my Vegas strip moves swept the board again last week, cashing Saturday with Ohio State and Sunday with our Vegas strip move NFL Game of the Year in Carolina. Our Vegas strip moves are now 9-1 and one this season and 40-9 and nine the past two years combined. Now, for Saturday, I'm releasing my college football Vegas strip move Game of the Year, and it's guaranteed to win or the rest of the college football season is yours absolutely free. It's just $19. Call 866-896-1628. We're a documented 40 and 9 the past two years on these plays. We had a record number of calls last weekend for the game of the year, so if the phone lines are busy, just be patient and keep trying. Call 866-896-1628. That's 866-896-1628. 
1628, our Vegas strip move, college football game of the year. Welcome back. We're going to talk about Michigan, Michigan State, and they don't get any bigger than this. This is a huge game. A lot of money on this game. Michigan State opens four, and the total is uh, 48 and a half. But now Michigan State is only one and a half or one. You can do some shopping. When a line moves like that, you may be looking at Michigan, the road team, ending up the favorite in this game, Scott. I don't know if we'll get that far, but it has moved quite a bit. Yeah. What I'm looking at here is the total in this particular football game. And, you know, when I broke this game down on Sunday afternoon, I'm looking at, you know, Michigan all of a sudden. They got rid of Greg Robinson. There's, I could not believe that Rich Rodriguez hung out at Greg Robinson as long as he did. Now, it's good for Ann Arbor and the fans in Michigan that he, hang, he hung on to him because he ended up losing his job. But the bottom line is he probably would have kept his job as Michigan head coach if Greg Robinson wasn't his defensive coordinator. But here's the thing. If you look at how they've piled up this defensive stats, the great numbers have come against two MAC schools and against a San Diego State team that's nowhere near as gifted on offense as they were when Brady Hoke was actually at San Diego State. Top two receivers are gone from that team. In fact, they have five receivers that are missing from last year's team, two that went on to the pros and three that were injured before the season began. So when you factor that into it, all of a sudden those defensive numbers for Michigan don't look quite as good. They gave up a ton of yardage and points to Notre Dame, gave up a ton of yardage and quite a few points, 24 to Northwestern. And Tommy Reese and Dan Persa, these two combined for 71% uh, completion rate against Michigan's defense, about a eight, almost an eight uh, yards per attempt passing-wise by these two quarterbacks. Uh, they were fortunate that Notre Dame turned the ball over. And I think what you're going to see in this game is both teams going up and down the field. Uh, I think Michigan's defense a little bit overrated also. They've played some cream puffs themselves. But the bottom line is to me, and I don't know about you guys, I'm watching Denard Robinson again this year. I saw it last year. Man, you can call fair catches on some of these deep passes. <laughs> it is Jeff Blake all over. You guys remember when Jeff Blake was with the Cincinnati Bengals? He'd throw some of those passes 50 yards downfield, and guys would be doing this on both sides. <laughs> defense and offense waiting for him to come down. So far, Robinson's been lucky a little bit more than he has been unlucky, a 10-9 to touchdown to INT ratio. And the thing is, I think both teams are going to have to put the ball in the air, so I'm going to go for the over here. It's under 50. It's about 48-and-a-half as we talk about this game, Jim. 48-and-a-half. I couldn't agree with you more. 48-and-a-half. Uh, one note to make on this game. It is windy, uh, about 17 miles an hour for this game. That could affect uh, the deep passes a little sure. bit, but maybe it'll actually make them go in the right place since they were just <laughs> kind of flooding. Anyway, I like the over as well in this game. I don't think either defense is as strong as people think. Michigan State's uh, got a statistics with this defense, but they really haven't played anybody, and when they did play Notre Dame, they gave up a lot of points in that game, although they did outstat them. I'm going to go with the over as well. We're going to come back. We have some conversation to talk about betting and wagering in – college and pro football. Last Saturday, I smoked the books with my big money game of the year on West Virginia, a 43-16 route of Connecticut. Then on Sunday, I released a five-game package in the pros that went 4-1, 80% for a huge winning weekend. Then to top it off, I had the Lions on Monday night. Saturday, I'm doing it again. Not with one, but two college conference games of the year releases for $19 when you call 1-866-841-1655. Plus, it comes with a huge guarantee. You'll go 2-0 or the rest of the season in college football executive service is free. Get ready for a monster Saturday with two college conference games of the year, both for just $19, 1-866-841-1655. Get set to put an all-out blitz on the book. And don't forget to ask about my first game of the year in pro football. Just call 1-866-841-1655. 2 and 0 sweep. Hi, I'm Scott Sprites. We're off a game of the year sweep. We won our KO game of the year with Alabama and our tap-out game of the year in the pros with the Oakland Raiders. We are now on an 86% run with our college and pro knockouts and an 80% multiple winning week run with tap-outs. Now grab our second top five countdown of the season. We won our first in September, and this five-play report is topped by our college blockbuster game of the year. Grab all five winners for 20 bucks and sweep the card again. It's all yours, led by the game of the year at 1-866-896-1627. Just 20 bucks. That's 1-866-896-1627. Hey, you make the call. I count them down. You count the cash. Welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit about betting and wagering and the effects of bye weeks in college and pro football. 
Uh, one thing Dave did guarantee me that the people that are on the bye weeks, they don't lose at all. No, no, they're 100% wow. during that week. 100%. They don't win either, though. That's the point. <laughs> that's, the well, that's not what you said, though. No. Oh, well, you know, I wanted to have a 100% angle on it. What effect do the bye weeks it, have you know, on these it, games? It, it, it's, it's, it varies from uh, it varies from team to team. <laughs> but uh, I think that, that uh, there's some good information you can't get anywhere, right? I think that what, this is where coaching really comes to the forefront. And I think experienced coaches have a real edge when it comes to handling bye weeks. And that's something that I will factor in on the college side. Because they, they know what to do in this routine. Sometimes inexperienced coaches or coaches who haven't been with a program as long sometimes struggle a bit. Momentum can mean a lot going into a break. Uh, what's coming up next after the break can mean a lot. I think if a team is, is facing a, a, an opponent who they lost to the prior year, there may be a lot more focused than if it's somebody they blew out by 40 points the year before. So to me, you have to look at each situation differently. And I know that's kind of a catch-all. That's not really giving you any good information. But I'm not a big believer that there's a particular system that fits this or that uh, as far as the college football goes. Just because there's so much variance in the 120 programs that com comprise the FBS. Now, from an NFL standpoint, it might be a little bit different. Because, you know, let's face it. I, I, you know, Al is probably the guy who can, can speak, elaborate on this because I, I'm sure there are some things in the database that would indicate some definite moves one way or the other as far as bye weeks concerned. Well, I think then we'll go over to Al and ask Alan Scott uh, about the NFL. Well, oh. Actually, Scott, you can go first. Well, what happened? Well, first of all, give me a pen. I want to write down something here. <laughs> Send deodorant to Temple. Oh, no. <laughs> so they smell it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as far as this was concerned, I, I was calling Al last night and I said, you know, I go, you got the database that goes back 30 years. And I said, you know, I, I know that these NFL teams off a of bye, certain losing teams uh, that are off a of bye have done pretty well over the years. And they're basically 0 4 teams or worse coming off a of bye week, because you don't really care about 0-1-1, obviously 0-2, 0-3, but 0-4, duh, right? But 0-4 or worse have done really well off of buys. So I said, Al, can you look up on your database and tell me what this is? And he goes, well, we're thinking along the same lines. I already have. Those teams cover at about a 6-to-1 ratio going back a couple of decades. Wow. And, you know, that's basically you got a couple of teams going again this week. You're going to have to look it up or call me. But anyway, <laughs> um, it, it's a really good situation. 0-4 teams or better or worse, <laughs> off a of bye in the NFL have been red hot. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they cover like clockwork. And there are Six two to one. Yeah. yeah, two situations this week. The other situation that works like clockwork in the NFL is to take teams that scored a lot of points going into that bye. If a team scored more than four touchdowns their previous game, then they come out of the bye, they do really well, and especially well as single-digit favorites covering 78% of the time, including the last 14 in a row. In fact, I'll follow Scott. If you want to know who it is, just look it up. <laughs> or, or call you. Or call me, right. <laughs> See, this is the kind of betting information that we have here on the show, and this is why you should stay tuned Stay tune in every week because we do have good betting information. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about a very surprising team, the Buffalo Bills visiting the Giants. Last Saturday, I smoked the books with my big money game of the year on West Virginia, a 43-16 route of Connecticut. Then on Sunday, I released a five-game package in the pros that went 4-1, 80% for a huge winning weekend. Then to top it off, I had the Lions on Monday night. Saturday, I'm doing it again. Not with one, but two College Conference Games of the Year releases for $19 when you call 1-866-841-1655. Plus, it comes with a huge guarantee. You'll go 2-0 or the rest of the season in college football executive service is free. Get ready for a monster Saturday with two College Conference Games of the Year, both for just $19, 1-866-841-1655. Get set! to put an all-out blitz on the book. And don't forget to ask about my first game of the year in pro football. Just call 1-866-841-1655. No sweat Saturday. That's the right way to describe this week's college slate. And I'm stepping out with not one, but two huge under-the-hat selections. Here's how confident I am about these two. Not only will I guarantee a perfect 2-0, and oh, both games got to cover by at least 10 points each, or the rest of October is free. That's why I'm calling this No Sweat Saturday. There's only one way to score these two runaways for just 25 bucks, and that's by calling 1-866-841-1665. The sooner you call, the sooner you'll be on your way to another huge day. So make that call now to 1-866-841-1665, and then get set to collect again. 
Okay, we're going to talk about some pro football. The Buffalo Bills. They almost gave it up against the Eagles last week. They had the big lead. Of course, the Eagles just keep self-destructing. They came back. They held on. They won the game. This team is having an incredible season. I mean, you talk about going from last to first. They're there. Uh, they are a three-point underdog, and the total is 50 and a half, and they're playing at the Giants, who amazingly lost to Seattle last week, even had to bring in Charlie Whitehurst to do the job on them after Tavares Jackson got hurt. And he played actually pretty well. But it's pretty easy to pass against this giant uh, secondary right now with all the injuries they had in the preseason and the even more in the regular season, Dave. Uh, what do you think about this Giants team? Are they bouncing back or is it more trouble? Well, I, you know, I tell you what, this is actually going to be a pretty strong play for me in this service. So I'm going to kind of sit this one out and hand it over to Scott and okay. uh, see what he's got to say about it. And, you know, once in a while, you got to hold the information I'll in. I'm passing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know, I'm looking at this game, and I'm looking at the total. And last week, I went against Buffalo, and we had a nice week, but we ended up going on Philadelphia. We forgot all about Michael Pick. I mean, Michael Vick. <laughs> but uh, the bottom line is with this Buffalo team, you know, I, I did an, an article before college and pro football season began, and I was talking about the Big Ten. And I'm going to get back to Buffalo, and I know they're not in the Big Ten. But anyway, I did this article, and I talked about Nebraska and Michigan State in their division uh, being being the co-favorites, but also being very fragile. And that is the Buffalo Bills. I mean, guys, they are a very fragile football team. A lot of teams are in the NFL, but we're talking about a team that keeps winning their games. They are basically bottom third or worse in just about every important defensive category. But at the same time, Fitzgerald is one smart cookie between the sidelines. Apparently, he's pretty smart off the field, too. But uh, he's done a great job of reading defenses before the snap and making the right plays. And this team's averaging about 33 points per game. At the same time, you've got a Giants team out that's averaging about 25, 26 points per game. No chop liver either either with their offense, and I think Eli Manning and the gang are going to do a lot to the Buffalo Bills defense, so I think you're going to see a couple of teams trading points. Almost looks a little bit too good to be true, and the number did jump to 50 rather fast, but I still think the game goes over and lands in the mid-50s. Yeah, you, you know, Jim, you're right. It was kind of amazing that the New York Giants lost that game. I mean, how often does a team be favored by double digits and lose by double digits? Well, you know, it actually happens about once every other week in the NFL if you go back 32 years. But these teams tend to bounce back. When you take a look at what teams do that were favored by seven or more points, if they lost by seven or more to their opponent, they then cover the spread 60% of the time the next week when they are matched up against an opponent off a straight-up win. That's the situation here. I'm going to lay the field goal with the New York Giants. Well, it is a good uh, bounce-back spot. You got uh, Tom Coughlin's going to get this team all riled up for this game. And, and uh, the Bills are coming off a big game over Philadelphia. But, boy, I'll tell you what, this, uh, this defense for the Giants gives up a lot of points. I'm going to side with the over in the spot. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about Dallas at New England. Big game. Hi, I'm Big Al McMord, and my Vegas strip moves swept the board again last week, cashing Saturday with Ohio State and Sunday with our Vegas strip move NFL Game of the Year in Carolina. Our Vegas strip moves are now 9-1 and one this season and 40-9 and nine the past two years combined. Now, for Saturday, I'm releasing my college football Vegas strip move Game of the Year, and it's guaranteed to win or the rest of the college football season is yours absolutely free. It's just $19. Call 866-896-1628. We're a documented 40 and 9 the past two years on these plays. We had a record number of calls last weekend for the game of the year, so if the phone lines are busy, just be patient and keep trying. Call 866-896-1628. That's 866-896-1628. Our Vegas Strip Move College Football Game of the Year. 2-0 sweep. Hi, I'm Scott Sprites. We're off a Game of the Year sweep. We won our KO Game of the Year with Alabama and our Tap Out Game of the Year in the pros with the Oakland Raiders. We are now on an 86% run with our college and pro knockouts and an 80% multiple winning week run with Tap Outs. Now grab our second top five count out of the season. We won our first in September, and this five-play report is topped by our college blockbuster Game of the Year. Grab all five winners for 20 bucks and sweep the card again. It's all yours, led by the Game of the Year at 1-8-6 866-896-1627, just 20 bucks. That's 1-866-896-1627. Hey, you make the call. I count them down. You count the cash. Okay, we're going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys coming off a of bye week after that big crushing loss to Detroit. You know what? I, As I'm usual, gonna, I, <laughs> you're just interrupting me again. Well, you know, I've called you a few names by mistake <laughs> in the past, and I, I think I said Fitzgerald instead of Fitzpatrick earlier for the Buffalo Bills, and... Uh, 
you know, it's all fits to I me. I thought like, they oh. drafted a different quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it. Now you can get back to your, your my, game. my little game here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Alan and I are going to talk about a few things. You go ahead and do your game. <laughs> well, as, as I said, as before, I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> the Cowboys lost to uh, Detroit. I mean, Tony Romo, he, he's either a hero or a goat, depending on what week you look in. Jerry Jones, of course. Uh, uh, is probably looking for another quarterback. Maybe he wants to lose the rest of the game and pick up Andrew Luck too. And again, in that, I don't think he has a chance for that. I don't think he's going to suck. Got Miami luck. and probably the Colts probably have the best shots at him. You know, the Patriots playing against the Patriots at home is brutal. I mean, they just have so many weapons, and every once in a while they come up and they actually play a little defense occasionally. So I mean, they did that last week against the Jets. But is that the Jets' bad? Offense or the Patriots actually playing some defense? I think the Patriots are making adjustments and they're going to get better defensively as the season goes along. Um, I mean, it's a pretty well coached football team. And, and, you know, the Jets gave them a good game last week, but the Patriots found a way to get through it. It's still, it's not a bad spot for Dallas. It really isn't. I, I mean, I, I think the bye week, we talked about this before, I think the bye week does help them somewhat here. Um, it's, on the flip side, you could argue and say, Boy, you know they've got a, they've had that taste in their mouth for two weeks now from another game they gave away. So they're kind of a tough read, but I, I just don't see that Dallas is a team that's going to get blown out by anybody in all likelihood. They may find a way to lose football games. They're a pretty talented squad though, and it's difficult for me to envision even a, str- a strong New England team blowing them out here, and especially with the Patriots off a game they really wanted against the Jets, and they've got their bye week coming up next. So. The idea here for the Patriots just to win the game and get out of town. I, I, I don't think it's a statement game for New England, Jim, and, and I think that uh, I think they'll win, but I think Dallas will get the uh, the money with the points. You know, when you look when you look at the uh, fifteen and four ATS home favorite, they're tough to they're tough big to numbers go too. against. You know, I know. Uh, it, the Patriots at home minus seven points. It's just so hard to go on the other side of this team because. Uh, they just don't lose that much. But situationally, the Cowboys coming off the bye, off the bad loss to Detroit. Now, the total in this game is very interesting, 54-and-a-half. That's one of the biggest totals I mean, I've seen in years in pro football. But who's going to stop anybody? I mean, <laughs> neither one of these teams play great defense occasionally, but I think the Patriots got – played good defense last week against the Jets because the Jets' offense is just pathetic. So I, I, I actually think this game's going to go over the total, even though it's a big, big number. We're going to come right back. We're going to talk about the best bets for the week. No sweat Saturday. That's the right way to describe this week's college slate. And I'm stepping out with not one, but two huge under-the-hat selections. Here's how confident I am about these two. Not only will I guarantee a perfect 2-0, and oh, both games got to cover by at least 10 points each, or the rest of October is free. That's why I'm calling this No Sweat Saturday. There's only one way to score these two runaways for just 25 bucks, and that's by calling 1-866-841-1665. The sooner you call, the sooner you'll be on your way to another huge day. So make that call now to 1-866-841-1665, and then get set to collect again. Last Saturday, I smoked the books with my big money game of the year on West Virginia, a 43-16 route of Connecticut. Then on Sunday, I released a five-game package in the pros that went 4-1, 80% for a huge winning weekend. Then to top it off, I had the Lions on Monday night. Saturday, I'm doing it again. Not with one, but two college conference games of the year releases for $19 when you call 1-866-841-1655. Plus, it comes with a huge guarantee. You'll go 2-0 and or the rest of the season in college football executive service is free. Get ready for a monster Saturday with two college conference games of the year, both for just $19, 1-866-841-1655. Get set to put an all-out blitz on the book. And don't forget to ask about my first game of the year in pro football. Just call 1-866-841-1655. It's time for our best bets, Al. Well, I'm going to go down to Tobacco Road and take Jimbo Fisher's men. We're going to take Florida State minus the points over Duke. Your best bet is to get on board for my Vegas Strip Move college football game of the year. How hot have these plays been the last two years? 40 wins, 9 losses. Last week, we had the 
big one in the NFL, the NFL Vegas Strip Move Game of the Year. Easy winner with the Carolina Panthers. Now 49, the last 49. We're going to win again. This play's guaranteed. You must win, or the rest of the NFL Vegas Strip Moves are apps. I'm sorry, the rest of the college football Vegas Strip Moves are absolutely free. Just $19. 866 896 1628 or college football Vegas Strip Move Game of the Year. Dave? Well, I, I will go with the same game. Uh, I'm not real sold on this Florida State team right now, but I think they're going to come out with their A game, and, and Duke can't stay with that. So I'll take the Seminoles minus the points as well as Al did uh, for my best bet this week. Uh, I'm just like anybody else. It's fun to win close games. You know, you love being on the right side of a game that gets decided in the last couple of minutes. But i got to tell you something. What I like better... Is these games here. Well, you can just kind of sit back after halftime and go, okay, this is good. And that's what's going to happen on No Sweat Saturday. I've got two <laughs> under the hat plays, and I, I'm absolutely convinced these are both easy winners. So I'm going to guarantee each game has to cover the spread by at least 10 points, or the rest of October is free. The cost for both games is only 25 bucks. The only way you can get them, I'm not going to put them online, the only way to get them, 1-866-841-1665. It's as simple as this. You want to go like this? <laughs> Make the call. Get some winners. Scott? I wasn't sure if you were getting arrested or if you were <laughs> <laughs> Go against the wall. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. No sweat Saturday. He talks about teams smelling themselves. <laughs> Dave's, you're on a theme this week. I love it. But uh, <laughs> And I want the plays. I don't want to have to call. I've got a top five countdown going this week. But first, my best bet on the show is the over between the Bills and the Giants. And, uh, you know, we last year we swept two top five, two top five countdowns in English is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> we won them both last year. We won our first top five countdown this year. That's three straight going back to the start of last season. Top a top five countdown going today in college football led by a game of the year in college football. Now we swept again last week with our games of the year. Alabama in college, the Oakland Raiders and the pros. Five big college football plays counted down from number five to number one and that number one play is a big game of the year in college football. You don't want to miss out folks. All you have to do is call 866-896-1627. That's 1-866-896-1627. You make the call. I count them down. You count the cash and you ain't got to smell nothing but the green <laughs> whoa sorry I, I, a lot I, of caffeine this morning you, you must have <laughs> you, you stole some from dave or something but, but god tell you hard to follow these guys my best bet is that going down the tobacco road i'm going to do the same thing i'm going on in in that game the florida state duke game i'm going to go over the total i see a lot of points in this game providing the weather is good and i think it will be i'm going over the total Last week, I told you I had a big money game. West Virginia wins it. Huge game. Then on Sunday, I had a five-game package. I go 4-1. and one. That's 80%. Come back on Monday with the Lions. This week, I got two conference games of the year. That's right. Not one. Two conference games of the year that are guaranteed to win or the rest of the, my executive service in college football is free. Just call 1-866-841-1655. This game, these games cost $19.00. Two big conference games of the year. I've been red hot like the other guys have been as well. 1-866-841-1655. And I also have a game of the year going in pro football on Sunday. Make sure when you call, ask about that game. You want these two big games, and you want that one on Sunday as well. $19, guaranteed as well. 1-866-841-1655. That's our show for this week. Make sure you come back next week for more winners. Clear.